Ivanovka. Twenty years of my life were spent there. Every Russian feels strong ties with the soil. Perhaps it comes from an instinctive need for solitude. The endless fields of wheat, stretching as far as the eye could see. The smell of the earth and all that grows and blossoms. I felt so good there. I could work and work hard. Most of my music was written there, and even when I left Russia, my music was inspired by there. There, at last, I found blessed happiness. Many artists, orchestra players, or young pianists, or young vocalists, you know, they were directly or indirectly influenced by his figure, by his personality. Even when he left Russia, I think, the remaining energy through the music which he composed was influencing every second every third musician coming out of schools in Siberia or in Caucasus or in Moscow or in Petersburg. This is my belief. This is what Rachmaninoff did to his country. This is what he brought back to the culture, which again helped him grow as an artist and helped him grow as a human being. Uh, <clears throat> you can't imagine a pianist, a single pianist, who would try to learn something about piano playing and just pass by without even looking at Rachmaninoff. I don't think it was possible, at least in Russia.